Hey guys, it's me, Simon Comics, and here I have a new logo. I'm just working on getting like a little thing to put it in. So, in this video, I'll be doing a support video for Andy's Vinyl Den. He's having a purge, which I think it's hilarious. Um, 18 plus uh, of years of age, US only, be subscribed. Uh, post your video link in, the, in his video uh, description. So, it's actually a pretty fun contest. You do your favorite hero, male and female, favorite villain, male and female, favorite comic book title, favorite comic book writer and artist, and it ends August, um, it starts August 28th and ends September 28th. So, this one's kind of late, but let's get right to it. So, like I said, we are doing an Andy's Vinyl Den video, and so my favorite hero, it would come to no surprise to many of you that have been watching my channel for a while, of course, is Captain America. Now, he is one of my all-time favorite heroes, undoubtedly. But there are many other heroes I do very much like. For example, Sandman right here. So, I really do like Sandman as well. Uh, I think he's such a great character. Doesn't get as much appreciation as he should. And I think that he's just... It's just a very good character. So uh, Captain America is one of my all-time favorites. Just a big fan, big fan. And we also have my, because I have to add a female, I'll add Black Widow. Of course, they were a great duo in Winter Soldier. I'm a huge fan of that movie. This is a GameStop exclusive. I actually got this at a GameStop near me, but now closed. Um, my favorite villain, number one, would have to definitely, definitely, hands down, go to the Red Skull. Um, he's just one of my all-time favorite villains. He's so dastardly and just, so they do such great stories with him and how he tries. And... At least the stories with um, Simon and Kirby of Captain America. I always thought that the Red Skull was used very well. And it wasn't always the intent on killing Captain America. And I do feel like comics these days, the villains only have the intention of killing the hero. But back in the Golden Age, if you read most of the comics, the intent of the villains were to gain control, gain power. So, I do think the comics have changed like that. So, Red Skull is my favorite, hands down. Um, My favorite female villain, I can't come to one off of the top of my head. I know that there are good female villains, but I did very much like Hela in Thor Ragnarok. Uh, I thought she was very good, but come to think of it, there aren't too many female villains that I am really excited about. I think Hela, because Kate Blanchett did a great job in Thor Ragnarok. So, I think that's, uh, she's one of my favorites there. Uh, another villain that I also like is, by the way, Red Skull is created by Joe Simon, Jerry Rob, uh, Jack Kirby. I also really like the Joker. Joker created by, of course, Jerry Robinson and everyone else, Bob Kane, uh, all these people, but... I think mostly people credit Ro uh, Robinson with the creation of the Joker. Um, favorite comic book title, I do have to say, <clears throat> in so many videos, in so many contests, they ask your favorite title, your most underrated title, your f best story. And I always almost say the same thing, but there are just so many titles that I really like. And so every time I'm going to say something different, even though all these I really do like, I really do like this Adventure Comics title. I thought that Simon and Kirby did a great job reinventing the Sandman. And I'm just going to try to adjust the lighting here. Um, I thought that they did such a great job revamping it in the 60s. I mean, not in the 60s, in the 40s. Um, they actually revamped Adventure Comics. It used to be a... Um, the title wasn't as successful at... But after uh, Simon and Kirby came, it was really, really successful. So, I do really like Adventure Comics. It's one of my favorite titles. Uh, 
if you want to see a great story on how I picked this up, go check out my golden early golden age Simon and Kirby uh, score. I got such a great deal. If you if you only knew, you would pass out. Um. Okay, and last two favorite comic book writer. Of course, I have to choose Joe Simon. Such a great writer, and. If you look at the books behind me, we have Horror, Strange World of Your Dreams. We have um, Black Cat Mystic, Black Cat Mystery. We have Bullseye, which was a Western. Fighting American, which was a serious and uh, later turned humorous. Um, for In the 50s, we have Boy Explorers, which is about a group of kids. We have The Fly. We have Adventure Comics. And we have all these stories. And it just shows how much... Um, one comic that I don't have up here is the romance comics, and these were um so just such a right such a oh and crime headline comics such a uh just it just varies so much and he just has so much good writing and all these titles are equally the same uh in quality and writing for um when it goes from crime to horror to to suspense, to comedy, and favorite comic book artist, again, I would have to choose Joe Simon. Just want to show you this comic right here. Joe Simon was famous for inking, and look at his inking. They, um, let's say for inkers, you are not allowed to do X's in inks. A brush stroke, a brush stroke, a brush stroke can only be one way. But Joe had his own style, and he would actually crisscross them. And that's one of the famous, uh, that's one of the things he was famous for. So just want to let you know, um, all these covers are done by Joe Simon that I have displayed. And it, most, uh, some of them addition with Jack Kirby, but all these are definitely uh, by Joe Simon. Some of these with Jack Kirby, like I said. And just just shows how much range they had. You go, like I said, from crime, horror, comedy, just just really well. So I want to thank, um, before I go, I want to add one category. I'm going to add favorite sidekick. And again, I will have to say it's Bucky Barnes. Bucky Barnes is just a great sidekick in my opinion. And it's, it's a shame that he, he came back as the Winter Soldier, but... I don't think fans got enough of Bucky Barnes as Bucky Barnes and they replaced him with James Barnes and everything and all these new the new Bucky and whatever but I just I just felt like the golden age started out very well for Captain America and near the end it started to decline then Stan Lee brought Cap back killed off Bucky right away and so I feel like the new the new fans the new kids at that time never really got to know Bucky Barnes. So, Bucky is my favorite sidekick, favorite villain, Red Skull. It was really, really, really good. And I want to thank Andy's Vinyl Den for hosting this great and fun contest. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.